Boys and girls, today we are back playing in High Diamond now. And this is probably the elo that I am the most experienced with overall. Because if you guys do not know, a lot of streamers, such as myself, usually have a lot of smurf accounts, you know, in Master, Grandmaster, High Diamond. Before, you used to stream, or you used to smurf in Master, Grandmaster, which has been more recently, like the past two years. You used to smurf in High Diamond. And the reason why is because it helps you learn new champions. It's a pretty competitive environment. There's a lot to learn, so this is definitely a place that is considered the highest of high elos. This is the elite elo that Riot has gone over. D2+, plus, so if you want to get out of Diamond to Master, this is where... This, this is where the game turns into a whole new realm of existence. Whole new realm. I always say, if you can make it out of, you know, mid-Diamond, low-Diamond, you have the mental, if you have the will. The mentality is everything. To get to master tier understanding the game because if you're able to make it to high diamond you're playing with masters masters can queue with challengers if you're in an mmr where if you queue up late enough late enough at night i've had diamond players in my challenger games so you are quite literally able to play with the best of the best if you are high diamond so all you need to do is make sure that you're playing very confident you made it this far and i just want to say if no one told you i'm very proud of you i remember when i first hit high diamond I had no one to talk to and I was really excited. So I just want to say, if you made the high diamond, I'm very proud of you. And now I'm going to teach you how to carry in high diamond. So basically, it's the same stuff you've been doing all along, but a little bit more high tempo, a little bit more everything. Everything is just a little bit more, a little bit more per elo. So we're going to be mo moving faster. We're going to be playing faster. We're going to be thinking faster. Right now, we know the enemy jungle is bot side, pathing up towards top side. They're looking for the 2v2 early on. They win the 2v2, so I'm probably not going to look to skirmish. What we'll do is we're going to path up. And if I can find the fight, I'll go for it before Sejuani gets there because I can full clear faster than her. And if not, then I'll look to reset, go for the bot scuttle, and reroute my path and mentality into the bot side play here. So, my brain is already thinking a lot more. So, thinking a lot more practically because I need to be thinking about what the enemy is thinking. The enemy is thinking is what is best for them. And they're going to be farming fast. They're going to be building properly. So, I need to make sure that I understand what they're going to build, how they're going to build, how they're going to path, how they're going to play. It's all about mind reading and confidence, like I said. I understand how my champ scales. Look at top. It's looking like it could be gankable. And what I'm looking for is for Camille to waste her E, right? But if Camille uses her E, then that makes it all the more gankable here. Nice. Mid got a solo kill. That's perfect. Top is just kind of vibing. They're missing right now. They're going to put a ward. So I'll put a ward here too. It's not really gankable like I mentioned. So Sejuani should be around the top side of the map. I'm going to reset. I wasn't able to find anything successful here. All good. I'll actually get a little bit of an aggressive start because like I said, I do want to position myself into the mid lane. Camille went mid, which is pretty weird. She held the wave. <laughs> that was actually pretty, pretty tragic. You can see that she did something that will greatly uh, cause harm to my mid laner. So I'll look to help out my mid lane. But right now we're just keeping our eyes on the bottom lane here. And the thing is, bot lane isn't expecting me to go bot because they expect me to be pathing towards top side. But because they're not seeing me top side, they're going to put a ward. And because I know that they're warding, I need a path in a way that they're not going to be able to see me. Zoe has no flash, so we're going to focus the no flash here. Nice. Jin can get the kill. I'm going to go for the bot scuttle. Maybe the Gromp here as well. I could look to counter gank mid here, if something happens. I'm gonna wait for them to get baited in here. Yeah, I didn't know if he had flash or not. If he didn't have flash, I'd kill him with W there. I'm gonna look to shove this in and look to just deny the wave here. Or goes this under the tower here. Make sure they're not able to farm it whatsoever. Kill the Sejuani. I look to be very aggressive here. The Zoe's coming over. I look to bubble me. I'm gonna throw a little wolf at her. Nice. Good start for us. Zoe is enough to zone me off there because she can potentially set up a, a 
kill for uh, Ezreal, so I'm just gonna concede that bot scuttle and just go to farm my bot side camps. Yeah, I knew that Sejuani was gonna stick around, and you walk up there in order to deny Yas for the CS because we got his sums, we got his flash, and we could look to play a little bit aggressive. Now he missed out on a bunch of waves. Like I said, when I noticed that Camille went to go mess up the, uh, the what do we call it? Mid lane. I wanted to make sure that I'm helping out the mid laner. And I wait very long in that play. That way they can get fully baited in there as opposed to just pathing normally. I make sure to wait a decently long time. They might be on the dragon right there and it kind of worries me, but... Yeah, I think they are. I think they are. I don't want to go for the seal in a 1v2. I think I'm just going to look to go to Sejuani's top side here. And maybe get 6 and look for another mid gank. Hit our top gank. By the way, this is yeah, the they're, they're on it. Yo, be unparadoxical. Thanks for 19 months. Go back. Yeah, I tried to tell them that they're on it, but like I said, I don't really want to look to 1v2. If my team didn't rotate over when I pinged them, I can't really trust them to, so I'm just going to go based off of my guts. So, notice that you can play with your team. You can, like, rely on your team. But at the same time, you still want to make sure that you're not relying too much on them, because that's where you're going to tilt. You're not going to be on the same page at all times. But you can look to like constantly set up. Camille is missing here, so she's either gonna look to rotate on me or mid. I'm gonna ping out mid because I'm pretty safe here, I would say. Okay. Oh, wait, look. I could just look to go on this uh, Camille here. Oh, wow, she just stopped moving. That's so unlucky for me. Not bad, not bad though. Let's get some orbs off her. All right, now I'm just gonna farm my top to my bot here. See Sidwani. Sidwani knows I took her top side, so she's gonna stay around bot. I'm gonna ping that out again. My bot lane's doing a good job of using their advantage. I got the early kill for Jin. That, that's what they're working with. I probably reset after this gromp. Could test the top scuttle, could test the rift. I'd say right now we'd wanna look to rotate Rel up top. Might need Rel rotate rift. Zoe comes. Yeah, cause Zoe's looking to play off the, the jungler right now. Get my iron spike whip here. I'm just gonna tell her to keep her eyes open. Essentially, I'm not. I'm not saying that I need her, but if Zoe's coming, then I need to uh, need Rel to move as well. Basically, all I'm getting at. Like bot side camps are a little bit vulnerable here, but the thing is, is that I need to prioritize this top side objective. We already lost the bot side objective. I'll show bot while you guys get it. Okay, that's fine. I mean, if Zoe's down there, that's fine. There's no flash here, so this should just be a free kill. Nice. Perfect. That was great. And we got form. Amazing play. I'm really glad that my row listened to me. So yeah, you're gonna notice in higher elo, you're you're gonna be able to have a little bit more teamwork, a little bit more communication. So this is perfect. Entering into the master elo, I would definitely say as a jungler. You want to have the most impact, you have to be a shot caller. So you have to be able to look at these scenarios and be like, okay, we're stronger in the top side of the map. We're the stronger laners. We just need to match the numbers. That's really all you need to think about. So let's say, you know, they're top lane, they're jung, they're mid, they're all around here. We have the stronger mid. We don't have the stronger top, but if we get the extra man, then we could win any fight, right? And Camille is going to be cocky because she's ahead and she wants to fight a 3v3, but she's not going to realize it's a 4v3 until it's too late. And now we can transition this BP lead that we have into forcing the bot side objective at all times. You can see that this is a fantastic game so far. And a lot of these games that you look to carry, they're from your decision making as a jungler. Like I said, the best way to carry as junglers, if you want to climb to high elo, you have to be shot callers. I'm not saying every jungler needs to be a shot caller, but if you want to be a challenger jungler, if you want to be you know, super good win rate, Climb in the ranks fast. You got to be able to make those calls. At the end of the day, climbing only means that you're outdoing the enemy opponent. So as long as I'm out CSing, out ganking the enemy jungler, it's fine. But imagine if I'm out jungling in every regard. I'm getting the objectives. I'm making the better calls. I'm making the better plays. I'm winning the smite fights. I'm winning, you know, I'm not overstaying. All these plays, right? That's how you truly, truly, truly become a challenger jungler. Because it's a, it's a competition between who you're versus every game. Not 5v5, more so 1v1 for solo queue. 
As long as I'm better than the enemy jungler. Now, sometimes you're going to lose the jungle because of things that your team does. But it's all about consistency, right? If you're losing the jungle every game, then that's on you. If you're losing the jungle, you know, a couple games every now and then, you know, that's uh, that's understandable. That happens. By the way, this was Care Smite, who went unironically with this game. Nice. Hydro was here. Yeah, I didn't want to dive the Zoe, that's fine. We just get the dragon here. 20 seconds. Yo, Nalita, thanks for the prime. Appreciate that so much. We're the best hand club. I'm gonna shove in mid here. Yeah, Zoe isn't as impactful as she thinks she is. And I want to get my rumble ahead. So notice that it is a little bit more team play as well. I want to make sure that my carries are getting ahead. That way it's not just one threat. Because if I'm one threat, their entire team's gonna focus me. Now, Red Cane actually works in getting hard focus because, you know, the more they focus you, the more they stack, the more they stack, the more you can get your AoE abilities off. But I'll tell you one thing, is that it makes the game a lot easier if you're getting your team to be as useful as you. And I have to say, this support is playing really good. This is a really good support. The best role to have synergy with as a jungler in high elo is support, 100%. Because the rotations, decision making, the calls, everything, it has to synergize smoothly with the support. I have ult, otherwise I would dive this guy 100%. Yeah, I'm just looking at his zone a little bit. I kind of want to go for that invade right now. Yeah, because we see Sejuani here. Nice. Woo! That's it, baby. That's it. So for all my high diamond friends, I hope that you, like I said, I hope that you feel proud about yourself. I hope that you feel happy. Once you're above that D2+, plus, consider yourself a certified high elo player. And if you want to keep getting higher and higher, you got to watch more, you got to play more, you got to get comfortable, you got to understand game knowledge, macro. Listen, to be the best of the best, it's going to take some hard work. But you made it this far, so you might as well keep going, you know? You made it this far, so you might as well keep going. I do not think every player could be high diamond. I do not think every player could be master. But, if you're willing to put in the effort, I don't see what's stopping you, you know? Right now, I think I'll just go Cleaver for damage. I'm snowballing pretty hard. Um, I don't really think I need the Death Stance because Camille does true damage, so the, the bleed doesn't really matter. So getting some HP would be nice. Good items into true damage is like Cleaver, Steric, especially the Synergy. So we could do stuff like that. It's gonna look to keep playing on the objectives. I do wanna make sure that this Camille is not gonna be a massive threat. I probably will look to use my advantage to put pressure on her. Get so she's not able to carry the game, snowball. I think one of the main macro plays we can make is if we force the bot tower and then we rotate our strong lane into top. Oh no. I missed my W. I thought she's gonna keep walking that way. Yeah, if we rotate our, our strong lane to top, that'd be really good. Look to just wait out the uh, Sejuani CC here. Hit the double knockout. Nice. So notice the whole strength of Red King in these team fights is one, your CC, and two, how long you can stall for your team to come. Because I knew that my team was there, that's why I was willing to make such an aggressive step up. And just to be able to CC them into the the, the big burst damage that we had was perfect there. And now we're just going to be hanging around to look to get the uh, rift here. I think Jin might die to the Yasuo here. Hopefully not. Oh no, he executed. Oh my god, that's amazing. Might look to uh, poke down the Camille here a little bit. Walks up straight. Let's tilt her, because she's doing the best, so she'll be the one that's not trying to FF15. She might try to if I...
Oh good. I just wanted to poke her down a little bit. Harass her while I had some time. Ezreal's over there. Yeah, I wanted to wait around for the objective just so we 100% secure it. I don't think I need a reset. I could have got some like Kindle Gem, you know, a little bit of ability haste, but it's fine. I'll get the big reset when I'm fighting for the dragon. I'll probably look to get Cleaver. That's why I wanted to stay on the map. Sadly, there's nothing to do, but it's fine. We just tilt the uh, Camille. Okay, I'm just gonna farm. One more camp here, get the cleaver. I have the fast reset here, so this is perfect. And now if I thought we were gonna lose the fight, or if I, wait, there's three top here. Let me go help her out. Yeah, they might just try and hard send her. Put a control here, just in case they feel like being really aggressive towards her. How do they know I was there? Okay, I'll just kill this one. Ezreal just guessed that I was there. That's wild. Alright, I got Cleaver now. Oh, head over. Yeah, as soon as I noticed there was three top, I knew that they were just conceding the dragon anyway. Still, see, I'm still using the same strategies that I use in all ELOs. I'm still using the same build, the same item. So everything I teach you guys, like I said, can be used across all the ELOs. But like I said, there is some more understanding of the game you're gonna need to have to play at this rank. So if you're a lower ELO viewer watching this, don't feel like you need to do all this to be, you know, the best. Just focus on getting from A to B. Focus on getting from, you know, silver to gold. From bronze to silver, iron to bronze, you know. So right now, the thing I always be preaching, you wanna open up all the T1 towers, get to mid game. We're gonna look to the set up. She has no flash here, so I can just walk her down, kill her. I'm gonna wait for Camille's E, and if she shoots it, then I will simply look to dodge it. Or not dodge it, I'll knock her up. I actually don't have ult here, so I'm honestly just waiting. Nice save bro. Yeah, I just saving my W for the Camille. That's why I W towards the bush. I want to make sure that she got taken out. And that's the game. Hope you boys enjoyed the video. Peace out, YouTube. Best of luck in your climbs, my boys. Peace.